makes it sound, it looks like I'm going to give the talk, but no. Okay. Um, welcome everybody to Science Center. I'm very, very happy today that we are hosting the special session of Niko Niko Gakai. We have been hearing about Niko Niko from Takasu for the last six or seven months, and we are very, very curious. And it's, we've taken this opportunity because we have a number of professors from Japan who are passing through on the Augmented Reality Conference. We've taken this opportunity. We would like to thank all of you for making the time to come here despite having a very heavy day at the conference. So thank you very much. Without further ado, I will just pass the mic to Takasu because uh, he will be the best person to introduce about Niko Niko Gakai as well as the speakers here today. So can we all put our hands together? See making a mega fair in next uh, July 12 and uh, 20, 11 and 12. Uh, if, uh, if we got uh, curious, please come in one mega fair Singapore. And uh, I introducing uh, Niko Niko Gakkai in, in Singapore. The Niko Niko Gakkai Beta is a new style science conference. Niko Niko means <coughs> smile, smile. And Gakkai is a science conference. Niko Niko Doga is a some kind of Japanese largest video sharing uh, service such as YouTube. But YouTube is a content first, and the comment and the noti notification is a second or third. Niko Niko Doga is a different. Niko Niko Doga is a uh, movie, movie center, and uh, every comment overrides the movie. We laughing together, run together, sharing together, cry together. That's the reason why we using a Niko Niko Doga. And this year we making a, a broadcast session uh, for the Niko Niko Doga and uh, we making a science conference for the Niko Niko. Let's making a different science conference with smile. And today we making a rapid fire research 100. In just 10 minutes, 10 world class researchers made up 10 pitches each about their presentation. One pitch just less than one minute. It's a rapid fire style research from Japan. We calling a lot of tech uh, work uh, professors, Masahiko Inami from Keio University and uh, Kota Miyamisa. <laughs> Kota Minamizawa. <laughs> Kai Kunta. <laughs> Koji Tsukada. Company. 
So it must then be developed, transferred concrete. This isn't a mirage. This isn't edited footage. This is a truly transparent car. <coughs> The transparent cockpit was devised by researchers at Kyo University in Japan. Here, the technology is used in a car, but it could be used anywhere you need a window. It's built of relatively simple components, but the real magic is in the retroreflective screen. Retroreflection allows the system to align the projected image with the eye of the observer. With the right screens in the right place, the car appears to be made of black ass. So, recently, we tried to develop another kind of camouflage, but not optical camouflage, but cartoon camouflage. Oh. So, so now, so he's trying to input the password. Can you find the password? <laughs> so actually, so we so show you so random password. <laughs> So we so we are mass cursor. However, so thanks to so visual uh, visual so hand coordination, eye hand coordination, you are able to find your mass cursor very easily. So unlike from this. So this is our uh, cursor complex technique. <laughs> and so so not only can, uh, glue something, but also we also make you see uh, very clear image. So that is called soft motion goggles technology. So thanks to high speed shutter glass. So you are able to observe high-speed objects very clearly. So maybe so you can see my hands like this. But when I move it, it's very hard to observe. That is motion blur. So in order to reduce such a motion blur, so we put we develop special glassware. And thanks to that glassware, so you are able to see moving image so like this. And rotating ball. And so, of course, <laughs> so, if you have a chance to visit my base hands, please let me know. <laughs> okay, so this is another kind of uh, another kind of visual enhancement, which is called spider vision, which allows you to observe your front image and back image simultaneously. So this is HMV view, so you can see your front side and back side, both images. So you, now, now you can see somebody is shaking his hands. And then, so, now uh, he's walking. He tried to get his back, but you can find it. I see that photo of so, spider man's body. And so, we have also developed another class so, to simulate another modality. So that is the tasting modality, which is called chewing jockey which allows you to enhance your bite experience. So, thanks to special, a special microphone attached to your head, so it can enhance so biting sound strongly. And then, so when you eat a potato chip, this is, what's it? This is super tasty potato chips. So, it's not so easy. If your potato chips is moisture, please use this. <laughs> and so we have also developed robotic based research, which is called Robot Home. This is original uh, old research. Actually, I gave an exhibition or uh, uh, demonstration here, here in Singapore, this uh, science center. And so which we have we developed two robots. But both robots are synchronized to each other. Can you move right side? Uh, so you can use it like this. So now so you can connect to robots so through the through the internet. So we have already succeeded to do this kind of research because to connect between Tokyo and Boston. And so this is probably so another type of motion media. So this is developed by Kenta Oyas. So now he's a researcher at NUS. So now you usually cook, uh, uh, usually use a microwave oven to cook the food. So this is another type of cooking, not cooking food, but you can cook. So 
Sanskrit Chief Chief of Chu and so and Army of Antenna. So you are able to add some special unique motion in it. So this is much complicated version. <coughs> now the head pass is rendered. And his body is formed. And now, both, both arms. <coughs> and finally, so you can get in a form of in a micro So, we are able to hack our daily life. So, for so instance, so you can hack your carpet your, in your home. So, thanks to so robot brush, so you can draw <laughs> your own illust on your carpet. You know. And so, if you have enough time, if you have enough time, you can draw so large illust like this. So, now we succeed to connect this system with Roomba. So, after so doing Roomba, so you can get some nice image. And we have also developed non contact type to draw the system by using focused. Ultrasound. So you can draw the image on the surface and you can erase. So finally, so let me introduce you. So upcoming project. So as you know, Olympics will come to Japan in 2020. So my, my research background was a sort of human augmentation. Initially, I thought I have no relationship with Olympics, but just after that, I have some idea. Why don't you contribute to establish a sort of superhuman sports? So next, uh, so superhuman sports is human computer integration sports for everyone. So not for not only for disabled people, but also so ordinary people can play sports together thanks to exoskeleton system or special equipment like Harry Potter, Potter's Quidditch or special uh, projection mapping field. Well, of course, the system can uh, assist your training. And, of course, you can enjoy some haptic experience in your home. So, in your future, so you can play judo with exoskeleton suits, or play soccer, as a football, so with so kids, and and you can also fly. Wow. So, so, actually, so Professor uh, Rekimoto and me and Professor Nakamura just established a uh, superhuman sports society to pursue 2020's uh, Olympics. And finally, so let me show you this video. This is commercial film of Google in Japan. So this is about Doraemon. Now, he checks Doraemon's version. This is Peter Drucker said, just the best way to predict the future is to create it. So now I think I'm about to create so our so the childhood dream so by using technology. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Inami-san. Are you feeling the magic? <laughs> Are you experiencing the magic? Is he making a really magician, but also really professor? And next speaker.